I love talking about fleets because I think nobody understands total cost of ownership better than a fleet manager, right? And EVs win in almost every scenario in, to in total cost of ownership. They have less maintenance, charging, and energy costs are, you know, sort of flat versus, you know, the cost of oil is up and down, up and down. It means gas is up and down and up mm. and down. That's really hard for consumers to plan. It's really hard for businesses to plan. But with fleets, you kind of can get into this understanding of these total cost of ownership models and why that's the benefit, you know, it has a big benefit. The other part is, I think sometimes we under, under think, if that's the right word, we, we undervalue the benefit of fleet transition because these are like demonstration at scale, right? They normalize EVs. And so every time a city fleet transitions their vehicles, it means every single one of those drivers becomes the next advocate because they realize how awesome the vehicles are and how great they work, right? In some ways, we complicate this stuff too. It's like an EV is like this crazy computer and does all this stuff and V to G and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, no, it's just a car that works really well. It's quiet and fast, right? And you can just plug it in at home. Like, how cool is that?